Welcome to the Green Building Show, where we investigate green design and building trends throughout Australia. As society has become more environmentally conscious and budget aware, so too has our desire for greener building at affordable prices. As a result, the building industry is constantly researching and developing greener building ideas and products. In this series of The Green Building Show, we'll be looking at fibre cement cladding. We'll be speaking to an architect and a cladding technician to get their insights into fibre cement cladding. We'll be looking at the Skyon range of products which have been developed with the environment and ease of construction front of mind. The range is an advanced lightweight cement composite with heavy duty performance. In this episode, we'll be looking at Skyon matrix cladding. So what does the cladding look like? It's right behind me. <laughs> it's flat. Um, uh, it usually comes in a sort of kind of straw looking color, uh, which surprisingly a lot of clients like. Um, sometimes one occasion we have actually just sealed it, but uh, pretty much it's flat, 10 mil thick, um, and doesn't have a great deal of texture to it at all. We asked our experts what type of projects matrix cladding is used on. Domestic construction, and this building here is a school building, so we use it on that as well. Um, pretty much the decision comes down to whether we are choosing a lightweight frame or whether we're choosing sort of a, a heavy construction like masonry construction. Lightweight is always a lot faster and a lot cheaper. Uh, so we're pretty much using matrix externally on any lightweight construction that we work with. The type of construction you use Skyon matrix cladding for is residential and multi-residential construction as well. So it produces that commercial look, but in a, in a lot more easy, uh, faster and cost-effective way to install. If we use the shadow gap, then it's, it's a tended sort of a, a contemporary uh, look where we're trying to use the lines of the shadow gaps to accentuate forms. Uh, if we decide to not have the shadow gap because we want to create a more homogenous looking building, uh, then we fill them up. Uh, but generally what we're using it for is a textured pattern, so we're trying to exaggerate the lines. Uh, and sometimes we'll use timber battens between the sheets to exaggerate that as well. So why choose matrix cladding? Basically because of the technical assistance that you get um, and the installation guides, and they come with common details as well. Uh, so that if we get any questions from builders saying, well, how do you put this together? Uh, we've got standardized details we can work with, uh, which means that we can always avoid getting variations uh, because we can say, well, you've had the information in front of you and you've known about it and you've used this product before. Because they come in square and rectangle panels, you can create uh, a range of different facade looks. So not only by choosing a square panel or rectangle panel, it's also the placement of these panels. So you can actually put them in, in a lined pattern or also in a staggered pattern. And because each panel is surrounded by an expression uh, joint as well. You can align those with your windows and with your various shapes and sizes and form and function of your building. One of the huge benefits is that it's a really large sheet. So you can get a, a 2.9 metre high sheet. Uh, most ply and other sheet products are 2.4 by 1.2. So when you can get a sort of nearly a three metre height and you look at ceiling heights as being, you know, slightly less than three metres is considered really high. What you find out is you can actually, in many cases, eliminate horizontal joins, which is the one join where you get the water coming through. So that's one huge advantage with it. Um, and obviously with the larger sheet, then it's a lot faster. Um, and you minimise uh, wastage as well. We asked how matrix cladding is installed. Screw fixed onto uh, perhaps an FC batten. So in the case of behind me on, the, um, on, on my right, uh, they are using a 50 mil by 12 mil FC strip and that is screw fixed into a stud frame and then they screw fix on top of that batten the actual FC sheet um, and then they recess the screw and then fill the holes afterwards and paint the surface. You don't have the complicated steel uh, top hats uh, behind the matrix panels. So we've, we've produced sky on cavity trim. So you've got the benefits of fibre cement as a batten, 
but then you've got the ease of cutting and being able to gun now these battens behind the matrix panels to produce a panelized look. It has a backing rod that creates a 10 millimeter shadow gap and uh, as architects we quite like our shadow gaps, uh, makes a sort of streamlined building and you're also able to cut up different size shapes to create a, a texture of your own on the facade. Um, so it's, it's probably my preferred choice out of all of the FC sheet products. In our next episode of The Green Building Show, we'll be looking at Skyon Linear Weatherboards.